What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Ragatha from the Amazing Digital Circus. Let's begin today's lesson in the center page with the eyes. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a large circle for the button. Start from the very top, go all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Now over on the right side, we're gonna draw an oval for the right eye. We're gonna start from the very top, come down, and then bend that back up towards the top. Let's add some detail to the eyes. On the left side, we're just gonna add a trim along the inside. I'm just gonna trace that circle all the way around. And then we'll add an X in the center. Now on the right side, we're gonna pull the pupil towards the inside. So let's draw a small oval coming down and then back up. And then we'll fill the pupil in black. Let's add a few lashes on the outside. Just gonna curl this out and up. Just gonna add two more. Now I'm gonna go in between the eyes and draw on the nose. Starting from the center, angle is down and out toward the left and right. And then we'll round out the bottom, going up and then back down. Now from the nose, we're gonna move down and draw the top edge of the mouth, starting on the left, curve this down and then up. Go back to the left side, curve the bottom of the mouth, coming down and then back up. Now we're gonna move out to the side of the eyes and draw the inside edge of the hair. Let's start over on the left. We're gonna bend this up and then in. Let's add four bumps along the top. We start on the left. Go up and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. And we'll add two more bumps going in towards the middle. Let's bring the hair bangs down across the forehead. Starting from the center point, we're gonna bend this out toward the left and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's go to the outside point, follow that same curve coming down, round up the bottom and just pull that back up. Now we're gonna go back up to the top, follow the curve on the outside, going out and then down. Just round up the hair bang and just pull that up toward the side. Now you wanna continue that curve along the side of the eye, coming down and then in towards the bottom. And we'll go back up to the top and add some thickness to the hair. Let's start from the left side, we're gonna go up I'm just gonna follow that curve coming all the way down towards the bottom, and we'll just round out the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up, just following that curve, coming all the way down, and then round out the bottom. Now let's tuck the bottom of the head in behind the hair. We're gonna start over on the left, curve this down, come in underneath the mouth, go across, and then back up. Let's add another strand of the hair along the side, starting on the left. Then it's out and then down. Now you want to round up the bottom, go up and just tuck that in towards the side. Let's add another strand starting from the top, then it's out and then down. Again, rounding up the end and then following that same curve back in. Now going back up to the top, we're gonna to draw two short strands going out towards the side. Let's start right in the middle, then it's up and then out. Let's round out the end and then follow that curve coming back in towards the top of the head. Let's add that bow in the center. We're gonna start with two straight lines going up and then we'll round out the top of the knot. From the top corners of the knot, let's bend the bow going up and then out. And we'll bend this down and then in on top of the head. Now let's move down and draw on the neck. We're gonna start over on the left side, draw a half circle, coming down and then up. And then we'll layer the collar in underneath, starting in the center, angle this down and out toward the left and right side. Let's curve the collar going out and then up towards the side on the top of the shoulders. 
and it will angle its back up and then in towards the side of the neck. Now we want to draw the back side of the hair in behind the head. Let's start all on the left, come down, round this out, and then go back up. And we'll add the tip of one more along the side. Now we're going to go down towards the bottom of the collar, draw the side of the body. We're going to bend this out and then down towards the hips. And then round up the hip, coming down and then up. Let's go back to the left side, step up and draw that same curve for the top of the belt. Now from the hips, we're going to draw the outside of the skirt. Let's start on the left. We're going to bend this out and then down towards the bottom, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now we want to close off the bottom of the skirt with a wave. We're going to start on the left, just going to wave this across, and then up on the right. Let's go back to the left side and just trace this along the top. Let's tuck the legs in underneath, so we're going to leave a small gap in the center, draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's round up the bottom of the feet, coming down and then up. And then from the outside, I'm just going to bend the leg, going up and then in, underneath. Let's separate the bottom of the foot with a curve, going across on both sides. And now we're going to go back up to the top and draw the arms on the hips. Let's start from the bottom corner of the collar. It's going to draw the shoulder, going out, around, and then in towards the side of the body. Let's add a ruffle across the bottom of the sleeve, starting on the left. I'm just going to draw another wave, going all the way around, and just pull that up towards the side of the body. From the bottom of the sleeve, let's draw the forearm, coming in and then down towards the hips. Now from the outside, let's curve the elbow, coming around. I just want to pull this in towards the wrist. Let's layer the palm on top, we're going to step up, curl around and then down, and we'll curl the finger around the side. So we're going up, down, and then in. Now let's go back and add some patches across the dress. We're going to start from the top left, I'm just going to draw a rectangle, just tucked in along the side of the body. Let's add one along the side, add a line coming down the belt. Let's add a few more patches across the dress. Square along the top right. And I'm gonna add some stitch marks going around each of those patches. Now we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Ragatha from the amazing Digital Circus. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.